On August the 19th of 1848, there was a breaking news headline on the pages of a newspaper on the East Coast called the New York Herald. It was the first news on the East Coast of America of a gold rush on the West Coast of America, of course, in the state of California. But if you know history, you know that rush for gold had started way back in January. It took basically eight months for that news to reach the East Coast to the point of being re reported. Of course, this was the days before telephone, before television, and before Twitter. But in our day and time, with satellite communication, with social media, Twitter, and all the rest, can you imagine that kind of delay of a news story of that magnitude? But if you were desperate in that day and time for money or, I suppose, adventure, can you imagine the excitement of reading or hearing that headline for the very first time, even as delayed as it might have been? In Proverbs 25 and verse 25, the Bible says, Like cold water to a thirsty soul, so is good news from a far country. You know, our day and time, so often we talk about how we only hear or see reported bad news. And it comes from all over the world. And it comes at us almost instantaneously. We get bad news from our own location, from our own country, and from the other side of the world, constantly bombarding us. But when we get good news, it really can feel like cool water for a thirsty soul. And of course, the greatest good news is about Jesus. Hearing about His life, His teaching, His death, and His resurrection should thrill our soul and should keep us satisfied. I need to ask myself, am I hearing about Him constantly because that's the best news of all? And so today and every day, let's keep our central focus on telling the good news and on keeping our ears open to the very best news of all. Jesus lives.